let us switch to demo part now so what i have done is i have started mongodb 8 which is the latest version as of now you can see that mongodb has started now let me start mongo shell also now it has connected let me show you the dbs also here these are the dbs test website you don't need to start the mongo shell to run the mongo dump command before i run mongo dump command where you can get all this you can get all this by going to this url mongodb database tools or you can simply say that mongodb tools in google and here it will take you to mongodb tools you can download it for your respective operating system you can download it as the installer or zip file unzip it and install it if you want some assistant or support i can create a new video also you can write in the comment section of this video and i can create a video that how to install it so once this is installed i am assuming that it is installed at your system let us do further so what i will do is i will run this mongo dump command and i will show you the output also so if you remember what it will do is it will dump all the databases collections within this mongodb server to which it is connecting to in this case it is connecting to localhost the port number is 27017 let us run it now it is saying writing admin writing website category website course all these things it has written because in my case i have only one database that's why let me show you where it has copied or dumped this data so you can see this dump folder inside this admin by default test is also there and you can see that inside website also it is there right so now let us run the next version of this let us give some options to it now what i want to do is i want to copy only website data all the collections inside that and i want to give a manual path i don't want to give it to uh, i don't want to store it to any folder dump uh, by default folder right so i want to store it to the folder or path of my choice now if you see this is written to this folder and only website database is created and it is also telling how many documents are written because there are no documents in this this and these right that's why there is no document mentioned here let me show you this folder also so you can see all this right and you can see size also let me show you other command this time i am running backup because i don't have my collection in my website database that's why it is saying collection does not exist let me try a particular collection here now if you see i have given the correct name of collection and folder name i have changed from backup to backup one so it has written categories and one document let us see in this folder see inside backup one there is backup created let us run another command db website collection posts it will again write that but now it has overwritten that if you see here another option is let us try with we have seen out right let us now create i will just say the complete folder complete database and archive i will create a new archive with this name which path complete path i am giving here so let us see what it has created same folder 
so you can see that it has created a new one now i'm going to create a dump from my mongodb atlas connection so here you are going to mention the url of your server maybe it can be anywhere whichever place you have it username and password you mention and then give the path output path which collection which database you want to have a backup for for example i'm going to show you on mongodb atlas here you will have to change username password the exact url also so inside mongodb atlas i am inside sample analytics and accounts so these are the number of documents sizes database size it will export or dump all this data or i will change the password if you see here it has backed up that collection and 1746 1746 documents have been dumped and if we see here it is also the number is total documents is this and if we go to our folder there we will see that it has copied this right let us run the same command with the archive option now you can see there are two files but let us see what archive returns and by now i think you might have guessed it let us see as you might have guessed it what is the output here so this is the archive and the file name path which database which collection or i can simply create a backup of the whole database that is also an option right so i am just running it if you see it has copied this archive has been created and these many number of documents have been dumped and you can see this archive atlas this is what i have given the name here so i hope you have liked this video or you have found this useful or knowledge added to your knowledge base i am going to soon start the live sessions over the weekend which will be free of cost so that will be primarily focus on data engineering and ai and cloud it will be weekly or biweekly session where i will share the details in coming week thank you so much